time to go deeper. Have you been learning Chinese for a year now? Have you been practicing and learning your sounds and um, listening to recordings and speaking your Chinese out loud and making Chinese friends? Well, maybe it's time for some immersion training. If once my um, people start to approach the one year learning mark, I talk to them about what's the next step for your learning, language learning. Is it time for you to go into China and learn some more Chinese over there and practice it while you're there? Or maybe Taiwan or you know your own choice of your own decision about where you want to go. But um, there's a few ways you can do this. Lots of the universities in Beijing that teach Mandarin as a second language offer full-time immersion programs, short-term ones and long-term ones. Um, when I first came to China, I was on a one-year um, full-time language uh, learning course. I met lots of lovely people on that course. I met the wife of a Turkish carpet seller. I met a Japanese businessman, people of all different ages. I met lots of other Korean students and European students, people from everywhere. And they've really just come to Beijing with one goal and that is to um, become fluent in Mandarin. And it's not scary once you get there. All the, you know, there's heaps of people speaking English can show you around when you first get there. You can live on campus um, and you pay a fee for a, a, like a hotel room on campus. There's all kinds of options. Another option which, you know, I could help you with is some sort of a private study tour where um, I help arrange a trip for you where you can go and see the sites and have some lessons. So I have led this, uh, my own personal private study tour. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in going deeper with your Mandarin and going to China and spending time there and practicing all this, for all this effort that you've been putting in, you know, sometimes a short term intensive is just what you need to help you learn. When you're choosing a city to go though, I would really recommend Beijing because Beijing dialect is the most closest dialect to modern standard Mandarin. You go onto the street and you speak Mandarin, everyone's going to reply back to you in Beijing dialect or Mandarin and they're very similar. So that's the best place to really tune in your ear and be listening on the streets the whole time to be practicing your Mandarin. Uh, most diplomats sent to China on, a, on an embassy posting will spend maybe a year or two years of full-time intensive language learning before they go. So there you go. So um, that it's really worth it. Um, that kind of time that you put in will really rocket your Mandarin language learning. If you liked this video, I'd love you to share it with someone else you know who might be learning Mandarin or who might be thinking about it. If you'd like to stay up to date and follow along with me at Studio China, then please sign up for my newsletter. You can do that at my website, studiochina.com.au. I'll see you on Tuesday for another episode of Studio China Chats.